Hey guys, Corey here from Sky's Limit Car Care, and today we're going to talk all about C-Quartz Lite. We're going to give you a quick demonstration on how to apply it. We're going to talk about the fact that it's a lot more product for half the price, whether or not you want to use it on top of other coatings or by itself, whether or not you want to use one coat, two coats, or more, how this compares to C-Quartz UK, how long it lasts, is it slick, and finally, whether or not it is the right product for you. So the first thing to know about C-Quartz Lite is that is, this is based on C-Quartz UK technology and it actually behaves in a similar manner to C-Quartz UK. You'll also get very good durability out of, out of it. While I would personally say that C-Quartz UK is easier to apply because you have a longer flash time with it and is also more durable, there is no uh, entry level coating on the market that uh, is more durable than C-Quartz Lite. So as far as application goes, C-Quartz Lite is going to be a wipe-on, wipe-off product. Generally, I mean, it always depends on what climate you're in. You have to test for yourself. But generally speaking, it's about a minute. Um, you basically apply it, wipe it off. And so for anybody that wants to get around that car fast and get it done, this is also a, a ceramic coating that's going to give you a very fast application. As far as durability goes, CarPro claims six months on this coating, and I can tell you from years of experience now that it lasts a hell of a lot longer than that. Uh, I would say if you're just going to put one coat on, then you'll get at least one year. If you put two coats on, then you'll probably get two years or more. So that already answers your next question, which I'm sure is how many coats should I apply? Uh, as I mentioned, you could apply one coat or two coats. Generally, C-Quartz Lite is something that people are buying because they want to have an economical offering. And so... I would say one coat. In that case, you know, you're, you're trying to save money on the product, you're trying to save money on your time around the car. Um, so one time around the car instead of two coats, and that's pretty much what you're gonna be able to get done for an economically priced coating. Of course, it has the capability and the versatility that if you want more durability, if you want two years of durability out of it, then make sure to put two coats on. As far as beading and sheeting, you'll get all of the benefits that you're used to with a C-Quartz coating. Um, it will bead and sheet just like you're, you've come to, to expect from C-Quartz UK. And then as far as slickness, you'll also get somewhat similar um, slickness properties to C-Quartz UK. And by that I mean it's not very slick on its own. It's not something that you're going to use as a top coat. It's not something that you um, want to expect that if you rub your fingers on it that they're gonna slide like a wax. Having said that, it's very important that people know that a ceramic coating slickness, the tactile touch that, that you sense when you rub it with your own human fingers, has absolutely nothing to do with the performance of a ceramic coating. You don't actually need to have a slickness. All you need is for when dirt to touch your coating, for the dirt to feel like there's a slickness. And that you will get with C-Quartz UK, C-Quartz Lite, and any C-Quartz coating. Uh, basically when the dust, the dirt, all these things that should be or are going to be touching your vehicle, hit it. They're all going to slide off very easily. They're going to rinse off easily in the wash. They're going to come off easily in the soap. Um, the only difference is between a slick coating and a non-slick coating is that when you touch it with your hands, your hands don't slide on it. So if that's important to you, if you want a slick coating, then yes, you can top this with a coat of C-Quartz SIC if you like, or you can simply use Reload. Um, generally with an economically priced coating like that, something you're trying to save time and money on, you're probably going to want to just use something like Reload and, uh, and just one coat of that, put the reload on, now it's slick, and go for it. So for anybody that hasn't seen any of our other videos on C-Quartz SIC or C-Quartz UK or ceramic coatings or maintenance or preparation, the most important thing to remember once you have installed your ceramic coating is that maintenance is important. Just like with C-Quartz UK or any other ceramic coating, how long this lasts and what it looks like for the duration of its life is going to hinge on how you care for it. You want to wash it with CarPro Reset regularly. You want to use correct wash techniques that you can find on our website. You want to use the correct drying towels you can find on our website. You want to use the correct wash mitts. And you want to do things in a manner that is not going to scratch up your surface. Because unlike what some people would like you to believe, ceramic coatings are not foolproof and are not going to stop everything from scratching it. All they're going to do is make it a lot easier for you to clean it, keep it protected for a lot longer than a sealant or a wax, and allow your life, or allow you to spend more of your life driving the car rather than washing it. So I think we've gone over everything there is to say about C-Course Lite. Now for the fun part, uh, James has already prepped the vehicle. He's washed it, he, he's decontaminated it, iron x it, done all the great things that you need to do. 
There's a link below if you want to learn more about those details to properly prep the coating or the car before you coat it. So now we're going to get into the fun part. All right, guys, I love unboxing videos. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you everything that comes in the kit. So obviously the first item that you're going to get is the C quartz light. And that comes in a 100 milliliter bottle. So you've got plenty to do. You could do four or five cars out of that, depending on the size of them and depending on how many coats you wanted to do. Um, you could probably actually do six or seven if they were all small cars and you were just doing one coat. Um, next you have a CarPro Two-Face towel. And then finally, you also have the CarPro applicators, the two microfiber applicators, which um, allow you to put your fingers in there and also have a liner in there so that you don't soak up too much of the c quartz light. Finally, you also have your c quartz hologram stickers. You receive four of those and your c quartz hologram stickers are basically peeled off like this and applied to the glass on the interior of the car so that they're legible from the exterior. Last item you'll find in here is an instruction manual. And as always, what we recommend is that for the latest tips and tricks on how to apply any of these products that we offer, you go to our website rather than utilize this manual. But it is nice for a quick read through. Okie doke. So first things first, you wanna take your Secours Light, give it a little shake, give it a little stir like that. Always open your bottle away from your face, just to be safe in case something squirts out. With Secours Light, I haven't seen it do that, but just to be safe. The nitro gloves that I'm wearing, these do not come with the kit, but we always highly recommend that you wear these for safety. Um, you don't want chemicals leaching into your skin. Uh, I shouldn't have to say that, but, uh, but I do. So um, just uh, for safety's sake and as a precaution, wear your nitro gloves. Next step, Obviously, drip a little product. It's not too important how much you drip, but that's about right for a fair-sized area. And then we're going to take this back and forth like this, and you want a nice, smooth flow around the corners. And then we're going to change directions and go like this. You can go around the perimeter and then go in, or as most you'll see most people do it, you can just go in a crisscross fashion like this, uh, taking care not to press down on your corners when you come around the corner. And that's just so that you get an even amount of product on the surface. So I was just showing you uh, two different methods of doing that. You don't need to go over it four times like I did. It's one or the other, but you basically want to hit the entire surface from two directions. In other words, this way and then that way, or uh, if you're going in the, in the circular direction, then you want to come back and, and even it out. So now that you have it applied, um, if, you have, if you're in a warm climate, then you might be wiping this off after a minute. Um, if you're in a climate like this and the car has been sitting in here and it's nice and cool, then we can leave this on for actually probably two or three or four minutes, maybe even five, uh, but there's no way to tell until you do a little test spot. So um, that's the first thing that you want to do is, is just do a nice test spot. Do something like what we did here on the corner of a panel or, or do a fender and then just hover over the area, look at what's going on. And as you see it starting to rainbow and dry out, then you know you can wipe it off. And however long it took in that area, as long as the entire car is shaded as it should be and the same temperature, then it's all going to act the same. Um, one thing that will uh, change your um, flash time is if you have a lot of wind movement. Um, and then, of course, humidity, surface temperature, stuff like that. So wind movement will actually increase the speed of the uh, flash time. And if it's still, then it'll be a lot slower. So once you see these rainbow, uh, this rainbow effect happening and it starts drying out, then you just take your Too Faced towel, which also comes with the kit, and you can just go nice and easy back and forth like that. It'll be a slightly tacky at that point. And then you come back the other direction, get it off from that direction. And then once you've finished the entire panel, I'm just showing you this area, but once you finish the entire panel, then you're going to keep track of this. This is the side that we just put a lot of C quartz into. We're going to flip it to a nice, fresh, clean side. 
and do a final wipe. And that's one of the ways that you're going to avoid getting high spots. The other way you're going to avoid getting high spots is that if you get into a curve, we don't have any real tight curves shown here, but if you get into a curve where, uh, where, you're, where it dips down in like that, then you take special care to get your hand all the way down in your fingers and the towel nice and smooth all the way down into a curve so that you can pull all of it out there. And then the last tip I'm going to give you is to make sure you have good ambient lighting. With good ambient lighting, which means you don't want to have the light sp uh, staring directly into the paint, but more of a diffuse lighting, but still very bright all around, you want to move your head back and forth uh, slowly to look for those rainbow spots, those darker spots, shadows or rainbows is basically what you're looking for. And once you get all that off, you just move to the next section and continue like that around the vehicle and you're good to go. All right, guys, that's pretty much all we have for today. I just want to summarize once more who this coating is designed for. It's for somebody that wants to get a card coated fast, efficiently, and with a product that costs less, but still offers outstanding performance. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. We'll answer those right away. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. And you know where to reach us, phone, email, anything we can do for you, just reach out and we'll be there for you. Have a great day, guys.